having a, a super interesting conversation. Now, before we went to break, uh, during the course of conversation, you brought up yo-yo dieting. And I think a lot of us are fall victim to that. Uh, how does that play a part in, in what you're talking about in your book? So if you overeat the night before, I often found in my own experience, that, you know, you don't want to eat that much the next day. And we were just actually talking mm -hmm. about this on break. And, and that's okay if it's healthy. You know, you have a lighter breakfast, but some people just skip breakfast. They skip lunch, and they just go straight to dinner. And then they're starving, and then they binge all night long. And then it creates a cycle. And then the cycle becomes unhealthy, where then you do it again the next day, and you feel like you're starving. And it sort of creates a cycle where it's unhealthy, where you're just not eating breakfast anymore. And that can become a really unhealthy habit of binge eating every night and... That's what we were talking about, right, yo-yo dieting. Right. Now, as a psychotherapist, someone comes in with something akin to all of this. Um, the whole thing is learning, getting rid of the bad behavior, learning a new behavior. And once you get through that journey, that process, and you've learned a new behavior and you're, you're on a healthier path, does it stay? I mean, as with some addictions, you can fall off the wagon. You can go back to drinking. You can go back to all sorts of addictions. How do you know that it will stay, or is there constant maintenance? I don't think that anything in life, obviously, is 100% foolproof. I think in any addiction or any uh, anybody who actually is has been through anything that is uh, drugs, alcohol, sex addiction, I think there's always a chance that you're going to go backwards, and that's okay. I don't think I think the worst thing you could possibly do is be hard on yourself and mm -hmm. and be mean to yourself. You pick yourself up the next day, and you you know you get back on on track, but. I think it's okay. I mean, that's just part of the learning process of, you know, it's life. It's you're human, and it's in your humanness to be able to do that. Uh, you know, I, I think that's part of the process of recovery and transformation. Click the channel subscribe button for full-length interviews and more from What She Said here on YouTube.